Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane. This video is part of my Infinite Game Score series, and today we're going to go over Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3 feels like a misnomer. It is the third game within the main storyline, but far from the third release game for the series. Speaking of the number three, there is a notable theme of three main characters involved in each story. The first three were introduced that we were introduced to were Sora, Riku, and Kairu. The second three were Roxas, Naminé, and Axel. The third set of three were Aqua, Terra, and Ventus. All important to Kingdom Hearts in their own way. While we could go on forever with this theme of three, let's get back to the game at hand. Much like other games, Kingdom Hearts 3 is very close to the timeline of the previous games in the series. Here the story is the typical hero needs to get stronger trope, but that may not be a bad thing. So Sora is sent out to Kingdom Hearts to discover his power of waking. And you begin to wander from world to world just to try to unlock it. Much in Kingdom Hearts fashion, the worlds and artistry of the characters are wonderful. The music is powerful and hauntingly familiar to previous games. Now here comes the combat. I won't say that it is bad, because it's not bad. It does feel different, and I'm not 100% happy with all of the triangle super actions. Like the teacups, train ride, blaster ride, and all of the other auto combat actions. It leaves me feeling unfulfilled after combat. I still firmly believe that Birth by Sleep has the best combat, but that was a function of Keyblade Masters, and Sora is no master. Overall, Kingdom Hearts 3 is a great experience, and I'm glad th that I took the time to play it. The story is beautifully crafted with lots of nuances, but enough of me prattling on, let's get to the final game score. The game exists, so it gets three points. It is physical and digital and gains a point. Immersion is about what I expected, so two points. Multiple endings. Supposedly there's 90 of them. Uh, I did not get to all 90 of them. Two points. DLC. It has DLC and it's $29.99 and I think that's absolutely insane. Minus one point gimmick kingdom hearts has now become its own gimmick basically so one point voice actors english one point game length two points story two points level design nice to see new areas again two points complete experience three points sense of accomplishment two points fairness fairness punishing rng it would have been a two but the last fight is completely unbalanced, so it lost those two points. So it totals out to a zero. Game value to MSRP cost, 59.99 is definitely not worth that price, so only one point. You might be able to find it for cheaper, but it's definitely not worth 59.99. Choice and consequence. Keyblade and which one that you choose and use and stuff like that, eh, that's kind of a choice and consequence. So one point. Multiple storylines. Sora and Riku, one point. Soundtrack is always good. Three points. It's, it, they finally got out of that whole getting old quick and repetitiveness. Difficulty, two points. Gameplay and combat, two points. Controls, two points. Replay value, uh, again, I just don't see it, so one point. Camera, two points. Unlockables and rewards, one point. Sense of accomplishment, two points. That totals this game out to 39 points. Like I said, I was happy that I played this game. I got to see the end of a lot of things. I, I know that there are some people that are fairly divided on this game. 
And that's fine. Some people say that the game has fallen away from some of its roots by not including Final Fantasy characters. I see that, and, and I definitely hear you there. But if you can find the game for cheap, you can make up your own mind. I enjoyed it. I'm, I'm happy that I played it. Yeah, I would actually suggest this game. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month, and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.